Chapter 4, Mishnah 1. This chapter continues to discuss the different ways the Zav makes a person or object Tame, specifically through Tumas Midras and Hesed. Rabbi Yeshua says if a needle transmits Tuma just like a Zav, sat together with a Tahor woman on an unsteady bed. All the clothing of the Tahor woman, even the kerchief on her head, become Tame with Tumas Midras. Similarly, if Anita sat in a small boat, all the utensils on the other side of the boat, even the utensils that are on top of the mast of the boat, become Tame with Tumas Midras. Another case in which Anita may transmit Tumas Midras to other items. If Anita is carrying a tub full of clothes, if the load is heavy, the clothes become Tame with Tumas Midras. But if the load is light, they are Tahar from Midras. The next case involves the Tuma of Hesit. We have learned that if a Zav causes a Tahar object or a person to move, even without touching it directly, for example, he pushes it with a stick, the object becomes Tame through Hesit, literally moving. Our mission in the next two present various cases in which a Zav hits something hard enough to cause a Tahar object resting on top of it to fall off, and discuss whether this is considered Hesit. If Zav hit a balcony and a Tahor loaf of Teruma that was on the balcony fell off, the loaf remains Tahor because it did not fall from the direct force of the Zav's blow, but rather from the vibrations of the balcony. This is not considered Hesed.